Okay. Take us away. This. We are going live on the toxicity first one. map. And we are going to start off following Lejni. He's getting that was a weird spawn, so spawn. close. Is yeah. it normal spawn like other side of the map from each other then? Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen two players spawning the way that they can both see each other. So, it turned out alright because nobody of them shot each other. So they just ran away to opposite side of the map and looks quite fair. Wow, Lesh great ambush by Lejni with a plasma gun. Yeah, really nice and Gekko's low now. Just baiting in the lightning gun there. Gonna move around. Mega's not up for 15 seconds. Red will be the next major item up there. And he's just waiting on this Mega. He didn't, of yeah. course, get it. I'm gonna switch around to Gecko, who's not really got anything. Just and Le yeah, Lefney needs to kind of defend both items now, both the Red and the Mega. And he's fortunate that Gecko yeah, just Gekko doesn't just go for the Red. Off, didn't go for the Red. He had a good opportunity there while Lefney was waiting for the Mega. But I guess. I get a guess that Gecko just thought Lesney would suddenly just run away from the Mega when he it wasn't up, but he just waited for 15 seconds. Yeah. I, I guess Lesney would have heard him though. So in the end, it's alright. And, well, Gecko's on problems. That's the first frag. Lesney takes it completely clean. And... Wow, couple he... of rails there. Oh, wow. Diamond Rock here. Takes him out second. But again, the red is up. Lesney is too far away from it to get it. See if he can at least do extra damage. One rail. Impressive. Didn't stay for the second one for some reason. Could have been an easy rail then. So uh, it's yeah, quite it's a really map. Uh, it can be. Some people play it really rarely, and some don't. So if you play against me, I'll probably just stand somewhere and uh, <laughs> look towards the other part of the map trying to rail at somebody. But I think Gecko might not be the player that likes to do that too much, and same goes for Lesney actually, he's also a very kind of LG based player I would say. He's got now like, four frags on the board, looks pretty controlled Lesney. Yeah. See percentage. Actually only 21% LG, didn't look that good to me either, but of course he's not playing on the best thing. And his LG kind of sucks I would say. Yeah, he's had, he's had the major items under control for most of the map. I haven't checked the stats, but I'll just have a quick look now. Yeah, 4 to 1 on the reds, 8 to 2 on the yellows, and 3 to 1 on the mega. So, this is the problem Gecko's having at the moment. In every yeah. fight, he's just got to do so much more damage than Lesney has to do. And I think Gecko is giving Lesney too much respect here, because Lesney same seems quite off to me, and Gecko could do with just attacking some of these items more aggressively. Messes up the rocket there, managed to shoot. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna switch around to get going back. He's only got, f he's only got 7 health and 45 yeah. armor. What the hell? Yeah, he was trying to get the 50 health bubble, but he came too late and now he's probably gonna get drilled if he tries to get it. And he hears Lesney. <laughs> oh, nice little dodge. Gets a 25. Yeah. Is he still gonna go for this 50? He is. And he's gotta be cautious here. Still not that strong. Nice first rocket, but. Great OD from Lesney. Oh, very nice knock up rocket. And Gecko fortunate to get the red spawn. That's kind of hard to say if it's fortunate or not. Lesney, I'm a little bit confused because it's the second time Gecko was at the red without any weapons, and Lesney just rails him once and then drops off, runs away. But in the end, both times he still managed to get the frag afterwards when Gecko was escaping. So I guess it looks out for him. Maybe he's not trusting his own rail. Yeah. Hitting 45% should be enough, really. It's roughly 50, so... Yeah, but thinking about it, it's actually quite smart. If you do miss the rails, then your opponent might be first at the yellows. Yeah. So, perhaps that is actually pretty smart. Should do that too. And when you got the lead, you know, there's no point risking it. Yeah. Definitely, no especially on this map. The items are so much more important than getting frags. Because when you have control, you will get frags, one way or another. Gecko's hitting a fair few rails there, he's brought Lesney down to 50 health, although he does just go down to Lesney's LG. Yellow is yeah. up to the grab, and next item is the red. Although Lesney's in a great position to take the Mega. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not sure Gecko realizes how low Lesney is. Should have gone for the red earlier. Gets it now, very nice. Gets the weapons, good for him, and Lesney is really low now. One more rail, and he's gonna have 4 HP. Gecko needs to attack him now. Oh, Lesney managed to hit that rail shot on Gecko. It's gonna ah. escape. We're gonna switch around to Gecko and have a look at some of his stats. 55% rail at the moment, misses that rail shot. Trying to get another angle, and Red will be up in a second. He's taking a lot of plasma damage. 
still misses his shots though. And Gekko seems to have a lot of trouble hitting the important rails. He hit those when he was running away, but when it really comes to having your opponent try to dodge it, he can't seem to quite connect here. And they're still both pretty even, and Gekko really, he needs to hit some rails when he's in control, rather than only those that don't really matter. And he just keeps missing. Eight to nil. I mean, over halfway mark now. Hey, there's enough time on this map to bring it back and get a lot of frags very quickly. But the way Gecko is playing is so cautious, so defensive. So yeah. And and the thing is, I think he's relying on his aim a little bit too much. He's not attacking the items. He's rather trying to do exit damage, and you're not gonna do exit damage if you miss all your shots. So what I would like to see him do is really play the items more and try to get him yourself, because then the aim doesn't matter that much. Right now, the, the playstyle that he's doing works incredibly well when you hit all your shots, because your opponent just won't have any chance. But you gotta hit them. He's done and a lot of now damage 3 here. HP, come on Gecko, MG or something. He did so oh, much damage no. there and then just missed the yeah. opportunity, Lesney picking up the 225s. Lesney's still railable. But yeah, and still, Gecko <laughs> really needs to attack now, he's too passive. I mean, he's just watched Leslie take the uh, the red and then the yellow, and now he's going to take the mega. And all that time, Leslie had nothing, no health at all. And where's Gecko? I mean, he's going to take the other oh. yellow now. He's taken everything on the map in a row, and he had what three HP at the start of that. Yeah, and really a very bad string of events for Gecko there. Missed time the mega, I guess, or he just didn't. He, he must have not thought that Leslie rocket jumped up. He had yeah. taken a fair bit of damage himself, but like in that situation, surely you should be thinking, right, I've got to get items myself. But it seems like he just sort of hid. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really take up any kind of ambush spots or anything. Yeah. Again, a little bit too passive in that situation. And now, it's really now or never, he has to play more aggressive now on the items. So maybe that necessity will actually benefit him. Just because he'll have to play right now. Let's see, attack, attack the items, and and he's still too late to every single one of them. Legend is always the one picking them up, and Gecko is always the one trying to damage him while doing that, and he just misses the shots. Actually, might manage to ambush him here on the red. He doesn't. Gecko doesn't even move into it. It's too late by the time he turns up. Yeah, Impressive. story of the game so far. Uh, did we see whose map pick this was? I believe it was, uh, it was Gecko's actually. Wow, that's not a good start then to the series. Best of five, isn't it? Yeah, but but I think really uh, maybe Gecko was a little bit too confident going into this, expecting to win this perhaps, because then you really can kind of get a little bit shaky, and your aim can start kind of leaving you then. So let's hope that happened, and he'll be able to focus again on the second map. Yeah, if I'm legend at this point, I'm gonna be working to make sure Gecko doesn't get a frag. Yeah, I mean, from playing Gecko myself, I know he's a really good player in control. And not so good out of control. So, maybe if you manage to kill Lesney in one of those situations where Lesney had 3 or 4 HP left, maybe he would have been able to make a really nice comeback, it just didn't quite happen. It's strange though, he's never actually put himself in a situation to be in control. He's had opportunities, but it just, as you say, he didn't challenge any of the items at the right time. I mean, it just seemed like a so passive game. Yeah. One minute warning. Oh, well, um, do you know if they picked all the maps yet? Did I kind of missed. Wow, no. what a shot by Legendary then, by the way. That was a pixel rail. <laughs> no, I just I missed the map selection. Unfortunately, right. Gecko still not going to get a frag there. Lesney just working his way to the yellow. He's going to get the mega as well. Shoot, I don't think Gecko's going to get a frag, and it's going to look like a pretty. Oh my God! Knocks him up in the air. Direct another great rocket. But again, it's yeah. down to the fact that Lesney's got the items. He still survives. Yeah. It's not rocket science. And I don't know if Gekko would feel a little bit unfortunate here, because of course he had these opportunities. Um, I just Finally. really think 
the key. Oh yeah, nice. At least a frag, you know. He needs to get his confidence back, really. He needs to feel that he can win this. Of course, he just lost his probably best map. But at the same time, I definitely think he's capable of beating Legend and other ones. Because Gecko is a very balanced player, actually. He plays pretty much all the maps to uh, pretty much the same extent. So, definitely not over.